The next reason for diversity and magnitude of organic compounds is isomerism. This is the phenomena through which a compound will be having same molecular formula but it may have different structural formulae. Okay, iso means equal and merge means parts means equal number of carbon atoms and hydrogen atoms will be arranged in many different ways to give different types of compounds and this will add to the number of organic compounds for example you can see over here the first example in which formula of n pentane is given here five carbon atoms are arranged in a straight chain now the same five carbon atoms may be arranged in a different way to give another type of compound that is isopentane. In this compound you can see that four carbon atoms are arranged in a straight chain but the fifth one is forming a branch along the chain. And a third structure is also possible that will have the three carbon atoms arranged in a straight chain and the two carbon atoms will be forming a branch along the chain. So it will add to the structures of carbon compounds and so it will increase the number of organic compounds got it now if the number of carbon atoms in a compound is greater then it will have a large number of isomers so the number of isomers will depend on the number of carbon atoms in that organic compounds okay